And uh, it's basically just like a really kind of simple octave thing. And it's only on the D string and the B string. And uh, so yeah, I was playing the same note, an octave, uh, you know, separated. And on the uh, the right hand here, I'm just kind of, I'm, you know, really getting into it live. It's a lot more distorted than that. And you're just kind of like letting it rip. But uh, so I'm kind of like really focusing the pick on those that that section of the strings, um, although not being too careful. So I'm kind of using some muting with the uh, the meaty part of my fingers to make sure that when I hit, you only hear those strings, even though I might be kind of really going into all of them. So um, I might kind of be attacking, focusing on hitting those parts, but really I'm kind of just all over the place, but I'm muting enough that you're really only hearing those two strings ring out, if that makes sense. So um, yeah, we're starting here on this uh, right here, it's the A. So it's just like I said, an octave here, and then up to here. So we're at the, uh, let's see, what would that be? The seventh and tenth to start out with, and then up to the eighth and twelfth. And then we go all the way up to the D. So that's the twelfth and fifteenth. Fourteenth and seventeenth. And then right way up there, which would be the sixteenth and nineteenth. Uh, yeah. So that's kind of the uh, the intro idea, and I'm just kind of chugging along. I've got like a real basic kind of just quarter note delay thing going just to kind of uh, fill in some of those gaps and just kind of really just being aggressive with it. Um, and then dropping down in the verse, I kill the delay, and uh, we kind of go into this little chug chug kind of part. Um, so for the verse, it would, uh, it would kind of sound like this. So here's the whole verse picture. So. joy section. Um, so I just wanted kind of a big fat chord at that point just to kind of fill it up. So um, the first chord is G. Unspeakable joy back down to the D. And overflowing well. And when we get to that, uh, that chord is an A. And I like to add in these two strings up here just to kind of get a little bite on the top end. And then uh, back to the G. Same thing again, joy. Soul. Same thing, adding those two fingers. And then we do like a little walk up into the key change, which is the E minor. Into the G. And then we had a big fat E. That's the, that's the chord change. Uh, I mean, the key change. When I hit that E, you may see me like dropping that index finger, and um, it's not an E minor, it's an E major. I just, uh, I'm muting that G string just to get rid of this note. So I'm just hitting the, uh, so you're not hearing that note. So it's essentially uh, just removing that note from the chord. All right, during the uh, Joy, Unspeakable Joy section, there's also a secondary guitar that you can throw in there if you like, or maybe figure out a way to do both, which um, live I'll probably end up trying to figure out how to play the big fat G chord, and then also adding in some of the uh, more uh, kind of uh, chimier stuff at the top. So, during that section, there's also a part that goes like this. Um, 
We also doubled it with a whirly, so it's kind of this whirly and guitar thing, um, which is kind of nice. So here we go. It's on the, uh, the E and the B string, and uh, yeah, it just kind of fits over all the chord changes, which I, I like kind of uh, writing or, or working with parts sometimes that um, it's just kind of that redundant thing that you hear over and over and over over different chord changes. Sometimes, sometimes it's a nice nice thing to have kind of floating in the mix a little bit. Um, so that's kind of guitar too on the, on the uh, Joy, Unspeakable Joy section if you wanted to try that. So now we're in the key change, and uh, we do the He Rules the World um, part. So like I said, it's a big fat E chord. Now when the band's kind of building up, I kind of start playing a little melody underneath that um, that's on the octaves, but this time we're on the A and the G string. Um, so that sounds like this. especially it kind of depends on how much room you got up here. Um, so one option to, uh, for that section uh, is that you could play it on the B string and then just kind of use your uh, use these fingers so it sounds like... Um, which that's kind of hard to reach, but it's better than trying the octaves. Or this, which would be... Uh, That's just an option for you once you get to the key change. Uh, if you're playing it that way and you kind of can't figure out how to get the octaves up there, uh, that'd be a way to play the outro.